What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German. In today's video, you're gonna be giving you all the video on if Ecomo actually works in my Dodge Challenger RT, man. Look at my rack solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gonna mow it. I'm gonna blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Big bang, wrong, can't fold it. I'm in wondering, like, how did he get. Eco mode and a Challenger RT when they don't even have the SRT papers. Well, I got it in mind because I did have this mod done to my car, man, which is called the Z Automotive Taser, which allows my car to have the SRT modes like a scat pack or a Hellcat. Web. We're gonna be giving you all a video on if it actually works in a Challenger RT, how much gas does it save, and if it was actually worth the $250 to have it because you had to have to purchase these Z automotive tips. And to the end, make sure you stand tuned. And we're gonna be giving y'all some pulls in eco mode, uh, telling y'all how it feel, what's the difference and all of that. And pretty much run down on everything, man. But we gonna give y'all a warm start, so. Baby sounding good. She looking clean, man. You know, the usual. The 345. But we about to hop in here and we about to show y'all how it performed and eco mode and if it actually make a difference. So stick to the end. Alright, so yeah y'all, when you slap it in eco mode, man, it does automatically feel different when you driving so what i mean by that is it does not shift as fast as sport mode street mode custom or track wood like it shift a little bit slower your car um it sound way quieter it's not as loud as it would be if you had it in regular mode if y'all know what i'm trying to say street mode or custom or track or sport it's way quieter. You know, matter what kind of pipes you got, you'll notice the difference. Like it's not as loud because it's running in four cylinders in eco mode instead of eight. And y'all know our car got eight cylinders. So it's running only four of them, which is causing it to, you know what I'm saying? Not run properly as it should. And I've been hearing videos on people say that you shouldn't ride an eco all day because it does mess up your car. They said you should only really drive it on the highway for long distances or if you're cruising, pretty much. If you just cruise around and you're trying to really save gas. But if you just driving it like on a daily in eco mode, it'll mess up your car because it's running in four cylinders instead of eight. So that's what y'all should keep in mind on eco mode. Like it will help you, but you don't want to use it too often, if that makes sense, because you don't want to damage your car from running the four cylinders instead of eight, y'all. So keep that in mind, man. And if y'all got y'all an RT, a scat, or a cat, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want to run eco mode too much because we got the big things, you know what I'm saying? The V6ers, they'll be cool, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to be giving y'all a cool little POV and eco mode only, probably a cool little 10 minute vid. Uh, driving around, showing y'all how eco feel, how I run, and all of that. And we gonna go crazy for y'all boys, man. So stay to the end, man. Y'all hear this motherfucker, man? <laughs> about to go number crazy for y'all boys, man. We about to tear it up in eco, showing y'all how we get an eco mode. Y'all see how Loki took so long to get the 40 And y'all hear how quiet it is You all, you know what I'm saying When you slap it in eco You automatically feel a difference man You know I'm trying to tell y'all That street mode This is eco bro Eco is, is putting your trans In a way different mode For some different mode Like I said man So it's really changing your car tremendously. When you're driving, you'll feel the difference. Probably, if you peace out, you probably won't notice, but. But, I got an RT, so you know, my shit still get up, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
when you come VA or tens, you're just you just gonna move how it's supposed to move because you want one of them fucking things. Man, can this little hope move? Making this bitch pop in the eco mode still, but I really gets like this. <laughs> I really gets like that, y'all, in a three four five mobile, man. Come on now. I know y'all hear my baby talking though, like, come on now. And then we got rush over traffic low key right now too. Y'all see it with the fucking cat paddles. <laughs> hey, let me know if y'all like the cat paddles in the RT, man. And let me know if y'all like the carbon fiber access I did to my steering wheel because I feel like this motherfucker look fly. I ain't gonna lie, man. If y'all don't fuck with the carbon fiber accents, y'all some hating ass niggas. All right, y'all. So look, it's 201. I'm at 139 miles. We're gonna see how long it take for my gas to go down. Well, pretty much, we gonna like pretty much floor it and shit like that. Cut up and then see how much of my gas go down by like 210. We gonna see, see if we got a difference type shit. Cause I'm at 139, man. So we gonna pay attention to our gas. As y'all can see, I in fact went up on gas. Well, it just went back down to 139, but yeah, it's back. Look, y'all, as y'all can see, it's back at 140 again. And y'all see, you know what I'm saying, how I'm low-key cutting up in this motherfucker. So, let me know how y'all, what y'all think about Eco Mode. Would y'all get it if y'all got an RT? Do y'all think it's worth $250 because... You know what I'm saying? You gotta have the taser to get it. So you might as well say it's worth $250 to get eco mode in your RT because you won't be able to get it unless you have a taser. Oh shit, that was a fat ass plate. But as y'all can see, I am back at 140 and we, you know what I'm saying, been driving for two minutes at least for the time being. And we've been low-key going fast, so. Y'all hear this bitch? Hawk her ass down. Look at this motherfucker. Where you going, bitch? Especially for a V8 routine, y'all know how we eat gas up in our cars. We don't last too long, so. Let me know what y'all thoughts, you know what I'm saying? What y'all thinking, man, because I ain't gonna lie. 
it ain't too bad. I'm back on 140 again. My guys just went back up again, y'all. So let me know what y'all thinking, bro. I ain't gonna fake it. Might be the worth the buy. Like I said, look, y'all. Back at 140. So aggressive still, even though how quiet she don't got, man. Three, four, five, she don't get down, man. She know how to get the fuck down, bruh. This my baby, man. This is my fucking baby wall. <laughs> she gets down and she does not play. Y'all a quick little pull after I hit this turn. Damn, eco mode. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I ain't gonna lie, man. Eco wasn't bad. I wasn't too bad for the eco pool, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. This bitch is might be worth it. Look. I told y'all about 210, we gonna check the gas. Look where my shit done went. My shit done went up, man. I ain't gonna lie. Invest in the Zero to Mother Taser, man. The $250 is worth it. As y'all can see, I was just driving for the at least eight minutes straight, flooring this bitch, you know, doing good pulls and all that, and I did nothing but gain gas. So, that should be a sign if y'all don't have eco mode. Like, if you want to say the gas, have a little bit of money's worth, and you just cruise it and you don't drive it as much as me, it should be, you know what I'm saying, it would be a good buy for you. You know what I'm saying? But, we ain't really got too much footage for y'all boys. We are low key about to end that motherfucker right here, too. So, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. We're going to catch y'all boys in the next video, man. Solid. I see the grass get long, snakes, I'm gon' mow it, I'm gon' blow like brown, racks on me, I'm so rich, talk here, top of the morning, I'm in the car, got motion, bib ain't wrong, can't fold it.